Welcome back. You are watching China Today here on CCTV International. Well, the Tibet Museum in Lhasa houses a valuable collection of artifacts. An exhibition hall titled Inseparable History displays politically significant objects, some as old as the Yuan Dynasty. Visitors say that they provide evidence that Tibet has been a part of China for centuries. Wang Wangmang reports. From the unification of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau in the 7th century to the relations between the central and Tibet regional governments in various dynasties, history has left its mark. A manuscript written by Saban, an eminent monk, urged lords and masters to pledge allegiance to the central government. The document is proof that direct governance of Tibet has been in place since the Yuan dynasty. The exhibits are historic evidence. These objects leave people no room for doubt or denial. Tibet has always been and should still belong to China. This is the original copy of the 17 Nautical Agreements for the Peaceful Liberation of Tibet. It was signed in 1951 by the central and Tibet local governments. Items include the People's Liberation Army role in Tibet, the positions of Dalai and Panchen Lama, Tibet democratic reform and ethnic autonomy, as well as freedom of religious belief. The Dalai Lama authorized the delegation to represent the local government for the liberation talks. So the agreements were actually acknowledged by the Dalai Lama. History is the memory of a people. In this sense, relics in the Tibet Museum bear witness to the region's culture, its past and development. Out of the different voices we hear today, this museum lets history tell the truth. Wang Mamang, CCTV, Lhasa, Tibet Autonomous Region.